Many people realize that one of the hallmarks of Parkinson's disease, or PD, is tremor. So that idea of a pill rolling tremor. So the idea when the person is at rest, you can actually see them having this tremor and their hands moving. There are other very important parts of Parkinson's disease, such as bradykinesia, which just means slowness of movement. Other things that can happen is people can have a typical facial feature where it looks like they're expressionless. A person may have problems with standing and may even fall backwards as well. And when we're trying to make the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, we're not just looking for tremor, we're looking for these other aspects as well. We think about a history of problems with the sense of smell. We think about problems with something called seborrheic dermatitis or a specific kind of oily skin disease that can be seen as well. If we see somebody who only has tremor and otherwise everything else seems to be doing well, well, it might not be Parkinson's. There are other things that can cause tremors. One example is called essential tremor. We also call it benign familial tremor. And the basic idea is that it's benign in that it's not going to lead to Parkinson's disease. And it's familial because in a lot of families, people have other family members who have tremor as well. That's why it's important if somebody has a suspicion of Parkinson's disease or a suspicion of a tremor, it's important for that patient to be seen as quickly as possible by a neurologist. Because neurologists will do extensive neurologic testing, where it's actually a physical examination where we observe people in different motions to try to see where that tremor happens and what can maybe turn that tremor off. All of those things can be useful in us differentiating between Parkinson's disease tremor and tremors caused by other sorts of disease and even tremors that don't have a profound effect on people's lives.